What's up, what's up, my people? It's your boy DJ Oli. Tio Oli Osha Tiwago Yelo, all the way from South Africa. This is my get to know on Pi Radio. Stay tuned. Yeah, how it got started. I've always been a music lover right from time. So I just want to see people like um, enjoy yourself and listen to music, have a good times and party. So yeah, that's what brings the whole stuff up. With me, my, my music genre is basically like um, something I formed on my own. It's called um, Afro Piano. Because um, I based in South Africa, yeah, so I need to like what's it called, keep up the vibes of being in Nigeria and also like the SA vibe. So that's what makes me brings together Afrobeat and Ama Piano to make it Afro Piano. Basically, what inspired me, my type of music is like I grew up listening to the like of um, Olamide, like all these old school Afrobeat and all. There's a lot of DJs that, that have been like a big inspiration like before I decided to be a DJ myself. I used to have a big bro that um, he would go by the name DJ Prince. So back then we used to go um, follow him to the club and the way he plays, the way he's like turned the place on, the crowd, the vibes, the rooms makes me be like I need to be a DJ. So and also seeing one of the one of the biggest DJ in Africa perform Oskido and also Black Coffee. A lot of DJs have, have inspired me and I can't just be mentioning everyone's name. Yeah. So I think with, with equipment, I, we always go with Pioneer. I love, I love Pioneer so much. I'm a Pioneer DJ. So with software, I'll go for Serato, Record Boss, so, because um, in terms of using USB and all, oh, I need record buzz, so that makes me love record buzz. But being in Nigeria as well, I need to love Serato. So basically, my techniques in terms of like my DJing is what's it called? Um, being able to read the crowd and seeing, studying their energy, the rooms, the vibes, and seeing how the the turn up is going to be. Because we are all there to have a good time, so I need to make sure they they having a good time. So yeah. Yeah, um, I try to know what, what the event is basically yeah, um, is all about. Because you can't go to a wedding and be playing a different type of songs. So I try to like um, study, okay, what event am I going to? It also determines the types of music I'm going to play there. So, and also I try um, selecting like popular songs, no songs that people will actually be able to like sing along with me and also, yeah. One thing that make a good DJ is being able to like read the rooms, read the venue, like read the crowd. You understand? So like when you see the crowds are jarring up, they are vibing, they are like they are energetic and all. You also have to like switch things up and make sure there is no dolly moment. Like I learned to read read the rooms a lot. Make sure now it's more of like a competition between the DJ and the fans. I need to make sure they are having a good time. In the process of them having a good time as a DJ, I also make sure I'm having a good time. I would say I'm all rounder because um, DJ is more of like um, why I just like take very very serious. I'm an artist, I'm a producer, so with the production part, I learned to like what's it called, or work with different types of artists like be it upcoming, be it known. I learned to like, I like to work with different type of people. So, and in terms of like my production techniques and all, it's just vibe, it's just vibe. We just try to make good music and push it out there. So yeah, that's, that's the goal. 
So I've collaborated with a couple of producers. Fuan is my Ruji, and I really enjoyed the studio session with him. Jules, my brother, we've always like been through it. Like have a lot of like couple of records we work together on. Also, if Stark, my I'm a piano producer, we work on a lot. And in terms of like um, producers, I would like to like collaborate with P Prime is yeah, is one of the best I'm looking into to work with at the moment. So yeah. I think one of my one of my biggest venue I've performed so far, I would say Sun Seas in Soweto. That's that's one of my biggest venue. And the reason why I love this venue is like um, this venue treats everybody equal. It's more of like um, a venue where you will go, you just stand, both the rich, both the poor, we are all standing together, just enjoying the good music, like there's no like nobody will be maltreated like are ah, you you can't be here you can't be here all of us are just there to enjoy the good music so yeah basically i love i love a venue that is so energetic like a very very energetic room i went to perform at Ibadan. the love was massive like for a place i wasn't known like the love was massive like the energy was just like so crazy like I was wild with the way like they are vibing to the music and oh yeah and um, the the event is um, Fanfuru Auto Fest also like I love cars so the event has to do with them showing off all these riders showing off their rides and all so it makes me like love the venue and I really want to go back there and perform also MIP too yeah I love them I love their I love their vibes I love their energy. I love playing in SA, which is which is like um, a place I spend most of my year there. I think I spent like eight to nine years in SA. So I love playing in SA. But you know, when it comes to like playing back home, it's like you're playing a song that these people know know the song word for word. You understand? And with Ama Piano, we just dance to beats. We don't really like a lot of people don't know the lyrics of Ama Piano. You understand which is the which is basically the two different with ama piano we dance to beats and with afro beats we sing along word for word so that's yeah that's the two that's the two different so i would choose lagos to play in, in essay because in essay we just want to dance and in nigeria we want to dance and we want to, to sing, sing these lyrics Yeah, I love I love playing my my song a lot. I love playing my song. So which is which is a part I'm trying to like work on more. I love I want to play, play more of my own music. Like I want people to know more of DJ Oli, not just DJ Oli playing other people's song. I want like people to get familiar with DJ Oli. And my new release um, is Wala Redeem, and it's still out there. If you haven't streamed it, go and stream it now. Yeah, um, basically, I'm this type of person that um, was it called? I believe in prayers a lot. I praise a lot. So I believe everyone's praying. Even if you if you don't believe, you pray. You pray in one or two ways. So I pray before I go on stage. Then I get myself, I pour myself some booze, so just to like put the energy up, keep me alive. So yeah. I like when I get feedback on my music, like maybe when I just drop a song or probably someone just approach me. I love seeing people sing my song. So basically sometimes, I think there's there's this show I went to play at Abuja. Yeah, at Abuja. Then the guy was like, um, when am I performing? Then I'm like, I'm going up and like, then the guy was like, I should make sure I play my song. So that's, that's a big, what's it called? Big motivation for me to see someone walk up to me and be like, I want to listen to your song. So it's like, it's an interacting moment whereby I feel like, okay, I'm passing a message and these people are getting the message. So, yeah. I, I would say don't let, don't let anything stop you. You understand? Don't let anything stop you. Just 
um, keep pushing one step at a time. No matter what, don't don't let the dream stop. Like keep dreaming. If you have to like what's it called, um, rent an equipment to practice or like go visit studios to practice. Just make sure you are like you are progressing. If just make sure you are moving one step at a time. So yeah. I have I have couple of remixes, pop, pop, couple of songs. I have um, there's this particular single I'm so like I'm so like um, excited about, and I can't really wait for the song to drop because um, we we spend um, what's it called so much time making that track, which is the song with PC and Justin Night Night and so it's 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 a it's a proper my piano song and the title is in our state and i really can't wait for the songs to drop and i have i have couple of shows couple of gigs coming up yeah which times we'll be posting posters flyers and yeah after this is on global level and my piano is also like going down the lane of like global level and international recognition all around. So now me trying to like bring these two genre together to create to create a sub genre which is Afro piano. I want this I want these sounds to like go viral as well, uh, whereby whenever people are listening to Afrobeat or maybe whenever they are diving into a um, piano, they will be like, okay. There's this particular DJ that is joining the two genre and is making sense. So I want I want this tune to like stay in people head and be like, no, nah, this is DJ Oli. Whenever they hear anything Afrobeat or Afro, I'm a piano. So yeah, that's that's what we're trying to do here. Yeah. Thank you for watching my Get to Know on Pi Radio. Follow me on Instagram at d e j a y underscore. O L L Y DJ Oli on every platform as well. Thank you. Much love. Peace.